Welcome back friends. Today we are going to solve lead code problem minimum distance between PST nodes. So before we start looking the details into this problem, I just want to mention that I often create lead code solution videos in Java JTUI technology as well as Java JTUI interview helpful uh, videos for junior and mid level Java developers. So it can you know help you in your interview preparation and uh, you know you can take a look at different solved examples uh, with the Java code. So please subscribe to the channel you know it has a lot of good material to uh, look at and helpful uh, for interview preparation. So please subscribe. Uh, so let's look into the problem details. So given a binary search tree with root node root return the minimum difference between the values of any two different nodes in the tree the size of the bst will be between 2 and 100 bst is always valued each node's value is an integer and each node's value is different right so uh, this is uh, the problem description so we have been given a binary search tree for example like this right and we have to find out the minimum difference between the values so as you can see 2 minus 1 is the minimum difference so we will return 1 here so similarly for this binary search tree if you look at the this 1 and 2 this is one difference or 2 and 3 this is also one difference so this is the minimum difference between the values so we have to return 1 here so um, uh, we are going to solve this problem by you know we will do a DFS like a, a DFS traversal on this binary search tree and when we are visiting each node we will uh, add these nodes into a linked list and after the DFS is done then uh, we will sort the linked list right then the linked list will have like for example the linked list for this tree will have 1 2 3 4 6 right after sorting and after sorting is done we will just iterate the list and we will compare each node in the list with its next each value integer value in the list with its next value so one we will compare with two so minimum difference is one so two we will compare with three like this we will go comparing with each element with its next element in the linked list okay and then we will keep track of the minimum difference that we have seen and at the end we will return that minimum difference so let's take a look at the solution that i implemented here so uh, first i will just show you the dfs so D this is the dfs where we are passing a root and we are passing a list of integer here so if root is null then we will just simply return right this is the base condition of our recursive function otherwise we will add the roots value into the list and then we will again do the dfs on left uh, subtree and right subtree means we will pass left child and right child of the root on the dfs so at the end of the dfs we will have this list which will be populated right so let's look at the main uh, function here so we just created a array list here of integer we pass that list and the list will be populated at the end of this dfs now we are going to apply a collection sort so this is n log n time complexity right the sort thing then we just created one diff variable here which is zero in the beginning and here we are iterating through the sorted list and we are comparing each element here with its next element as you can see here i ith element with with i plus one th element here and we are calculating the difference and if we find a difference which is minimum than our mean variable we are updating it so we are keeping track of the minimum here and here uh, the mean is defined like here right so mean is here which is defined as the integer max value and at the end we are just returning mean so um, let let's just run the quickly the test here so the solution is accepted so let's just submit this and make sure it's uh, getting submitted so as you can see the uh, it is based percentage right 99.18 so this is pretty good uh, and uh, this is the time is 142 ms and memory cost right so this is pretty good solution for this problem so i just thought that i'll share uh, this problem solution with you for a junior uh, developing uh, position as well as for uh, you know like um, 
for uh, whiteboarding sessions or for even telephonic rounds so you can get this question you know even online whiteboarding session you can get these kind of questions so please try to understand how the recursive function works using dfs in the binary search trees uh, so as i said in the beginning i often create lead code solution videos for you know to helping uh, others to like uh, with solutions as well as the java j2e concepts and java j2e interview frequently asked questions and their explanation uh, you know details so check it out i have created a couple of playlists there one is for a list uh, link code like solutions it has a lot of problems with examples as well as uh, some programming concept videos are there like bfs dfs dynamic programming link list hash map those data structures you will get a lot of good things there so please subscribe to this channel subscription will really be helpful so please subscribe thanks for watching the video